One of the most important skills that you should acquire is the ability to record your musical ideas as quickly as possible, just like this. Now today I'm gonna show you how to do that and I'm also gonna show you how to add layers and layers on top of this chord progression so you can come up with the perfect loop or the perfect backing track. Now we can record all these guitars on any device that we want. You can record it on the phone, on the computer, on a small recorder such as the Zoom R8 or with a loop station. Now I've been using the same loop station for 15 years and obviously is the Boss RC2. This is the number two. I'm sure they upgraded this one many times. But today we're going to use a really powerful loop station by Singular Sound called Iris Loop Studio. Now the reason why I like the Iris so much is because it allows you to see all the tracks that you are actually recording. And so it's pretty easy to look and manage all these tracks. Now for me, the perfect loop, the perfect backing track will have five different guitars. Obviously the first one is going to be chords. We're gonna be playing an F major nine, a D minor nine, a C major nine, and an A minor add nine. I already have a tutorial where I show you these chords, so if you wanna learn it, make sure that you check it out. Also, stick to the end of the video if you wanna know all the gear and the effects that I used in this video. Now, I'm going to record these five different layers live, so I'm gonna be using this one to listen to what I'm playing. And the first one is obviously the chords. Now, the iris has an internal click, which is going to play only when we record the first track. We're gonna have four counts, and then the loop will open and start recording. Let's go. So we have the first one, pretty easy, super simple, it takes seconds. Now the second layer is going to be more chords. We're gonna add extensions to these chords and I usually like to play small chords on the top three strings. So things like this. For the F, for the D minor nine, for the C major nine and for the A minor. So just basically extended chords. I'm just going to open the delay. So we have a little bit more room and I'm gonna play the whole thing and then open the loop again and start recording. Now I'm going to obviously enable the next track, track number two. And let's go. Now the cool thing about the Iris is the fact that I can manage these tracks. So for example, if I want to lower the second guitar, I can. So that's pretty cool. Now the next layer will be percussion. I'm going to get rid of the delay. You know, the easiest thing for me to do the percussion is just do the body percussion. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of the room here. So just the thumb here and the finger on the side. Pretty easy. And obviously we're gonna uh, open the next truck, truck number three. And yeah, let's go.
All right, so we have it. We have already three different tracks. Now the next thing we could do, it could be rhythm guitar. So we're gonna do single note, single note uh, ideas, and uh, and we're just gonna play with the pentatonic. So let's just give it a try. I'm just going to enable track four. So, sounds good, I like it. Now we need a little bit more room. So I like to always add a, what I call it, pad. It could be anything. Um, anything played with single note, but with a lot of delay. Now in this case, we need a little bit more delay at 88. That's a lot of delay. We're gonna play single notes in octaves. So we're going to engage track number five and we're gonna go like this. Now we have the perfect loop. What can we play over this stuff? Well, we are in C major, so we can play the C major scale, C major pentatonic, the A minor scale, the A minor pentatonic, the blues pentatonic. There are a lot of things we can do, but I would say just start with simple ideas and then just develop rhythmically and melodically. So I'm gonna give you an example. Now let's talk about all the effects and the gear that I used in this video. So obviously first thing, the guitar, the echo, the Massimo Varini we were using today. And from the guitar to the Boss GT10, just the delay from here. And then my favorite reverb, the Hall of Fame 2, TC Electronic. And then from here, we went to the Iros uh, loop Studio, which is the loop station. We didn't really use the Beat Buddy. I'm still kind of trying to figure out how to use it, but this is like a drum machine. And then everything was recorded through the Zoom R8. Pretty easy setup. Guys, let me know if you enjoyed the video. I hope you like it and make sure that you record all your musical ideas. Just document your journey and have fun playing music. Talk to you soon.